the demise of the U.S. has to come from within. Right? The enemies have to be inside, not, not really outside. No, no, no external enemy can, could, can cause so much damage as internal. It's an internal operation. And you're, here, you're watching internal operations here. You, you can see them in, the, in cities, cities that were pristinely beautiful 30 years ago are wastelands right now. You would see people, I mean, I'm from El Salvador, third world country in Central America. And myself, I can see cities here and say, I don't want to, I wouldn't live here. So th that would be unthinkable three decades ago. Totally unthinkable. That a Salvadoran wouldn't want to live in a U.S. city, in a U U.S. main city. I mean, Los Angeles, San New York, Francisco, Chicago. Yeah. Well, uh, Philadelphia, Baltimore. When you look how the cities are eroding so fast, this has to be by design. I mean, who, who, I mean, who would make so many stupid decisions? Like, okay, we're going we're gonna to give you money for drugs. R really, they're doing that. In some cities, they're giving people drugs. I mean, they're literally giving people drugs in some U.S. cities. Or they say, okay, we're going to give you money if you don't work. Or we're going to, you know, they make all of these laws that make no sense. Or if they have a high crime, okay, I have a solution. Let's defund the police, right? They make this uh, analysis here. And, and you see all these campaigns, defund the police. You will see these campaigns of, you know, uh, let's allow... Uh, shoplifting up to this amount. They make these this, this decisions openly. I mean, it's not even a secret. They make it, they, they made them, they make them openly. And you, we, we all know what would be the consequence of it. A defunding of the police, uh, allow sh for shoplifting, uh, give drugs to drug addicts, uh, you know, give money for people to stop at work. What would be the consequence of it? You will destroy the you will destroy the society. You will destroy the city. You will destroy the economy, and it's not only a logical thing, a logical thing to think. It's it's already happening. And when they see more problems, they say, "Oh, so we need more of the same solutions that caused these problems in the first place," and they enact more of them. So they have more problems, and they they enact more of the same solutions that cause those problems. They have more problems. So you would. You would think these people, they, they can be so dumb. Of course they're not. They're smart. They're very smart people. So why are they doing these things? Because it's by design. It has to be by design. There's no other logical explanation. 